three days, three toddlers, and an Alaska glacier. What could go wrong? Spencer Glacier, just off Alaska's Turnigan Arm, is a perfect taste of the Alaska backcountry without being too committing. Accessed from a whistle stop off the Alaska Railroad and an easy one-mile hike, it's close and convenient, yet stunning with its sheet of wrinkled ice and broad glacial lake dotted with gleaming icebergs. It seemed ideal for a first backpack trip with a three-year-old. But as we set off into the wild, I felt a growing unease about all the things that could go wrong. Even though Spencer is close to the most populated part of the last frontier, it still is, well, a frontier. Were we putting our daughter in danger just by bringing her to a place like this? Were we setting ourselves up for misery and failure? The next three days would tell. Our journey started at the Portage Train Depot, where the three of us and some friends boarded the steaming blue and gold Alaska Railroad. It was my daughter's first train ride, and her eyes filled with wonder as we rolled into the forest. It was a short ride to the whistle stop, and once we left the crowds behind, a hush fell over the landscape. All right, Alaska Brian here, and I'm lugging a pretty heavy load out to Spencer Lake. We've got pack rafts, paddle boards, all kinds of stuff. Can't wait to explore this incredible area. So glad you guys are with me. Well, we're there, guys. We're at the campsite? Yeah, we're at the campsite. What do you think about that? Well, we are at the campsite. We are? Yeah. Yeah, day one, check. We um, hopped on the train at the Portage Depot. We went up to the Spencer Glacier whistle stop. We did the little over mile hike in with some heavy backpacks and um, got rained on a bit, had some dinner in the rain, but now it's cleared up. And yeah, I think it's a successful start to the trip. Imagining a uh, early bedtime, especially with toddlers, and hopefully tomorrow brings something a little nicer weather-wise, but whatever happens, we'll make the most out of it. So, all right, we'll see you then. It was a wet, chilly night. After a soggy breakfast the next morning, we settled on a hike around the lake for a better view of the enormous glacier and its many icebergs. After lunch, the rain tapered just enough to inflate the boats and head out on the water.
It's humbling to float through the maze of blue ice. The icebergs stand like frozen, dynamic sculptures. We drifted in the calm water, trying to decide what animals they resembled. The challenges of endless rain and sleepless nights with a toddler were washed away. Oh my gosh, what a day. It was pretty awesome out there. I cannot believe how good it was paddling around those icebergs and I was switching between the GoPro and the camera and then flying the drone and I would be shocked if some of those pictures and video didn't turn out to be my favorites from the year so far. Incredible experience. I love icebergs. I've been able to paddle around them before, but not something I get to do very often, and they are just magical, to say the least. Sometime during the night, the blanket of clouds tore apart. The morning air was crisp and calm. The lake's surface mirrored the sky above. It was perfect for photography and for another paddle. Day pressed on, the yellow sun quickly felt hot. We basked in the warmth of a perfect Alaska afternoon. Oh man, we found ourselves a beautiful day. We deserve it after a almost entire full day of rain yesterday. But um, sun's out and we're pack rafting, taking out the paddleboard. It's amazing! Woohoo! <laughs> When the time came for the short hike out, we left all our challenges and fears behind. Without question, it was all worth it. All right, we did it. We're back at the Spencer Glacier Whistle Stop. All we have left is to get on the train and get on out of here. I would say it was a successful trip. Super excited to get back and see what pictures and video I caught and uh, treated to an absolutely stunning day at the end. 
And for now, I gotta bounce. Until next time, stay interesting, stay wild. Whoop.